know I'm gonna win. I'm not afraid to win. This is what I spent my whole life dreaming. This is my moment. Every day in my mind, when I go to sleep, I win the Olympics. Ready? <laughs> my big goals, really, my whole life have been to be world champion and Olympic champion because no one from the United States has ever won a gold medal in the sport of judo, and I would really like to be the first. <laughs> I moved to Jimmy's here in Wakefield when I was 16. I was an emotional, distraught, 16-year-old wreck. I was just a car wreck. And the pagers have changed my life. They saved my life. Not only did they change it, but they saved my life. Don't throw me. <laughs> Jimmy, my coach, is a two-time Olympic bronze medalist and a world champion and he's the most decorated athlete that U.S. Judo has ever seen. If you want to be a champion, you got to go where the champs are, I guess. Peter. That's not cheating. I'm from Middletown, Ohio. My mom took Judo in college, and so when I was a little girl, she wanted me to learn self-defense. I had my first competition probably about a year later, and I just loved it. It's a total mind-body thing. It's just you out there. I mean, it's grueling. Any workout, any judo match is grueling. Alrighty. They had been talking back and forth about me coming up here for a while, and it was, we weren't sure, you know, maybe after high school. And then the situation happened. My mother found out. She immediately pressed charges. And then basically a month later, she packed me up and, and, and shipped me up here. I, we, Jimmy and I sat in this very room and I was crying my eyes out and telling him, you know, it takes two to tango. And he said to me, he was like, you know what, kid? He's like, it happened to you, but it doesn't define you. And someday you're going to have to get over it. Now I, I realize, you know, what happened to me was grooming and, and what happened to me was wrong. I mean, I was a 12-year-old kid. Like, I, you know, it's just... Mm. It's one of those things that takes time. It's bittersweet because this, what happened to me happened to me because of this sport. But I don't think I would have been able to survive without it. You know, it gave me a goal. It gave me something to get up for. It gave me something to push for and to say, well, you know what? I'm going to do it anyways. I'm in a really good place. I'm really happy. I just got engaged. I've just won a buttload of tournaments. I'm going to the Olympic Games, the highest stage for my sport. I don't really think about this stuff. If I don't win the Olympics, I'll definitely go for 2016. But I plan on winning it. And I know that I'm going to be in the best shape of my life, in the best mental condition of my life, and just ready to go.